uh, once you install the extension properly now just you need to install this install pack in your extension so now you can just open up after effects if it's already open make sure to relaunch it and then come over here windows extension and open up this motion gallery extension over here as you can see i have already installed this color pack so i'm just going to uninstall that so for that just go to this package section and from here you can uninstall any pack so i'm just going to right click over here and remove it and it will be removed now i'm just going to reinstall it so installing is very easy you can just come over here and just drag and drop this mg call out mg pack on top of that and just wait for a moment to be installed as you can see it is installed properly now you can just navigate through all of these uh, designs over here another way of install is you can just click on this three dot button and click on this install package and you can navigate to your download folder and select that mg pack install file and then it will be installed now let's see how to use these callouts over here so you can just uh, hover over them to see the animations over here uh, there is total 50 callouts with their own variations as you can see as you can see there is multiple same callouts with different variations this one is starting from the left side and this one is starting from the right side so you will get a variety of options to apply so now i'm just gonna drag and drop my video over here so I have imported a video over here. I'm just going to drag and drop the timeline and let's scale this up. Now as you can see this footage is not scaled up properly. My composition settings are, let me show you, it is full HD 1920 into 1080p but this footage is uh, 1280 into 720p so I'm just going to scale this up. Now I'm going to add some callouts in the scene. And let's suppose I want to add a callout uh, in this, from this one second mark and then I will add another one at this four second mark all right so let's add one callout so i'm just gonna add this callout over here so i'm just gonna double click on the callout and then it will be applied on that particular section and if i just scrub through you will see the callout animation will start happening now we need to track this onto this video okay so for that we need to copy this video over here and paste it inside this callout comb now the duration is very important so as you can see i have applied this uh, call out in this one second mark so let's put your timer indicator in beginning of this call out so i'm just going to press i on my keyboard so it will snap to, to the beginning of your layer so while selecting this call out press i and it will, it will snap over here now as you can see you can see the actual time over here so this is very important you can copy this over here or just rem remember it so it is one second mark and now copy this video layer over here copy this and open up your callout and now just paste it in here and just drag and drop underneath as you can see there is a place footage you need to drag your footage underneath this place footage layer now same thing you need to type over here or you can just copy this time code over here and paste it now you need to trim this video layer at the exact point you can just do this just by dragging this handle over here and you can just press plus on your keyboard a couple of times to make it bigger and do it accurately you need to do it accurately over here or there is a shortcut button let me make it undo and the shortcut button is if you're on mac just hold and press option and press the second and third opening bracket on your keyboard button and it will automatically cut and if you're on windows press and hold alt and the opening bracket it will snap over here now you can just go to this front section just put your timer indicator at the beginning and just shift it over here again the shortcut button will be the open bracket the second and third bracket button once you do that it will snap over here so this is the process for this timing okay this is very important once you understand that it will be very easy for you to navigate like this now you can do freely whatever you want and it will be updated perfectly on the final comp so let me track over here so I'm going to show you two different tracking method over here. One will be manual tracking just by hand keyframe, which will be much more faster on some of, some of the scenes. Uh, in some of the video, you, just, you don't need to track your footage by the tracker. Uh, if your footage is steady and don't have too much shakiness on it, then the hand keyframe will be much more easier for you. But if your footage is a bit shaky, then hand keyframe will not work. Then you need to do the automatic tracking feature over here. So I'm going to show you both. So first I'm going to show you with this hand keyframe. So here as you can see there is a pointer move which is this pointer move. You can move the pointer and they will find text move which will 
move the body of this entire design so these two layers is very important okay and you can animate them both just come over here and hit p on your keyboard for position and you can keyframe this position over here so let's go to the beginning of, of your video so let's suppose i'm just gonna track uh this portion over here now this is not too much high quality video but i'm just gonna track it like that like so okay make this anchor point to this point over here now just add a keyframe over here and just move forward a bit now as you can see you can zoom it up and you just need to place your null layer to that exact point time to time so once you do that it will be automatically tracked on that portion so as you can see after a certain point it's going out but you get the idea and now if i just play back you will see it will be tracked at that exact point and the same thing you can select this text move which is this body you can hit p for the position and always keyframe that as well so let's suppose i'm just gonna make this from top and make it to bottom like so so once you check that so this is the manual tracking you can do it over here now let's see how to auto track this so i'm just gonna uh, delete this keyframes over here now i'm just gonna auto track for that just go to uh, windows and make sure this tracker feature is on as you can see it's turned off just click on that and it will on open up over here now from here just select your video and you can just come over here and track motion once you do that and before doing that make sure your resolution set to full and then click on that it will open over here this is your tracking point so just let's uh, make the search area a bit bigger and now i'm just gonna track it let's suppose i'm gonna track this portion over here okay always uh, track the sharp object on your video and which is which has no obstruction between the video so i'm just gonna start this tracking from the beginning and i'm just gonna track this portion over here so once you set your tracking point now you can click on this analyze forward button so once you do that it will start tracking over here now if your tracking point is sharp enough it will be tracked perfectly or if it's not sharp as you can see for my case my video is a bit blurry that's why it's a bit offsetting but that's okay this is just for a demo so i'm just going to stop this now okay this is enough for this demo now click on this edit target button and this is the important part you need to give this tracking data to this pointer move layer okay so you can just come over here and select this pointer move layer don't select any other layer from here it will mess up the animation just select this pointer move because we're, we're gonna add this tracking data to the pointer now you can just click ok and everything's fine don't need to do anything here and click on this apply and x and y hit ok so once you do that you will see automatically it will snap to that portion and if i just play back you will see it will be tracked perfectly and again you can select this uh, text body move and you can animate this one by hand to look much more engaging so this is the process for tracking by this tracker option now once you've done your tracking properly just delete this video from here okay just delete it and just go back to your final comp so this is my final comp and as you can see if i just play back it will track perfectly okay now let's suppose i want to add another video another call out uh, just about from this three second mark so I'm just going to start from here that's because the call out takes one second to just come up so i'm just going to start from here and add another call out let's suppose this one or let's suppose an image call out okay so i'm just going to double click here and it will be applied so as you can see it has a bit delay to start so i'm just going to shift it a little bit okay so again same thing select this layer press i on your keyboard and keep note of this time one second 26 nanosecond copy your video go inside that call out paste it drag it at the bottom and here just go one second 26 nanosecond now select this layer press option and open bracket open second bracket and it has been cut it now the video layer is cut now i'm just gonna press the open bracket only it will snap to that beginning 
Now let's uh, quickly animate this one by hand. I'm just gonna select this pointer move, go to this beginning, just select this board, hit P on the keyboard, position, move, move bit forward, animate this one, bit forward, like so. Nice. Now I'm just gonna select the image move, which is the body, hit P, and just gonna move this image a little bit down. Okay, I think I need to uh, move this image at the bottom, otherwise they will collide with each other. There is another call out, so keep in mind that. Keep it down over here. Now once I done animate this, delete the video again, go back and check your video. See, in the same step you can add as many lower third you want in, in one video and you can add any duration you like over here. So here's the thing, all of this callout has one minute long duration. So this is the maximum duration you can do. I think that one minute duration is way too much. So all of your need will be under this one minute duration. And you will find an animate out marker over here. And this layer is locked. So you can unlock that. And let's suppose you want to animate out your callout after a six second mark. So you can just drag this marker at the six second mark. And if I just play, you will see it will glitch out. So this is the glitch out animation, it will, it will animate out, now you can just lock this layer again. So if you don't lock this duration control layer, then it will be hard for you to grab this body and pointer null over here, okay. So if you just lock them, now you can just grab them and edit them if you want. So in this step, you can move this marker to adjust the duration and if you go back, you will see after a certain point. It will animate. I think that's the six second mark, which is this. As you can see, it's animate out. Then you can just crop this layer again. Press Alt and close bracket. Now let's see how to change this text and images, and let's see how to control this control layer over here. So to add images, you just need to import your image over here. So I'm just going to use the same video. You can use images as well, and I'm just going to double click on this image composition. I'm just going to delete this demo image and drag and drop my video and I'm just going to scale this down a bit and if I go back it will be updated and for the text just double clicking on the text and in here I can type my text you can change your font from this character tab if you want and you can just go back it will be updated as well and if I just go to this this call out as you can see there is no image there is two different text which you can change Okay, now for this control layer, if you select that, you will find this color settings. In here, you can change this text one color, text two color, this frame colors, etc., etc. And you can change this point dot color. And there's another control from where you can control the scale of your body and also scale of your dot. And the point and ring stroke is a stroke of your ring. You can control that. Point a line stroke one, as you can see, line stroke two. So you can make some kind of unique look if you want. So from this control layer, you can do this kind of things. So that's it for this tutorial. So there is plenty of designs which will definitely fit your need. You can just apply them as many times as you want. I hope this video helped. If you need any other support, feel free to contact me. I will be happy to answer.